Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I'm here with Talking Tina. That's right. And we are here to talk about and review Bad Moms. Bad Moms is a 2016 film that was written and directed by John Lucas and Scott Moore. Two guys. And the plot is we meet Mila Kunis, who plays Amy. Amy is a... (laughs) (laughs) Mitchell. She's a mother of two. Uh, She has a husband. She works hard. She's doing everything that she at least feels like she has to do. Possibly can do. Exactly. To be a mom, to be a good mom, and to be a wife and get everything done. She works hard. Until one day she finds out that her husband is having an online affair i guess no 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 so he is he's being a pig they're having sure. cyber sex sure you know what they say flirting is ching's ugly cousin and right. he is like riding that fine line of scumism so then amy decides okay i'm gonna kick him out i'm gonna be a single mom but i'm gonna do my own thing she meets up with two other moms Catherine Hahn plays Carla, and Kristen Bell, who plays Kiki, the three of them form this this trio of 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 partiness and just having fun, doing things for yourself. Supportiveness. Right. Until Christina Applegate, who plays Gwendolyn, she's like the town, she's the head of everything in the town, the PTA meetings, the school, all the extracurricular. She's the judgmental mom bitch. Right. For all those moms out there. And so that starts a competition between Mila Kunis and, and Christina Applegate, the two of them trying to win people over to be the new head of, of everything in the town. This movie, I will admit, I did have fun with. I think that you like it a lot more. I do. I love it. I love it. You love it. I do. I can relate so much, even though that it's acting with actresses who have their spouses all the time and whatnot. It's just, it is on key, I feel. I cried. I laughed. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I loved this movie. You get very, like, involved and attached. I do. Especially Mila Kunis, you like a lot. I feel it's like a mixture of all of them. I understand Each and every where one they could possibly be coming from. See, I do think this is uh, a raunchy comedy. It is raunchy. It's radar. It's it's a whole bunch of it's raunchiness realistic. going on. Even with other comedies, would they say raunchy comedy? It's realistic. People are out there. Um, it's just not everyone's conservative and like sugarcoats everything. Like they're just right on point with their shit, honestly. True. <laughs> not everyone is like Kristen Applegate, who's very uptight and very judgmental. And let's just call it how it is. She's fake. She thinks she's superior to everyone. She's Her a gossip queen. It's like the head bitch in high school. Who, even if you are, you already hate yourself or that person. That's right. Even her two friends, uh, Jada Pinkett. Smith and Annie Mamello. I think that's how you say it. Um, But yeah, the two of them are like her underlings, and you see them talking. Right. Uh, But also, I want to talk really quick about Mila Kunez's husband, Mike. The scum. Played by David Walton. I know you think he's scum. I know you think he's horrible. I like that the movie, yeah, he did something stupid. Yeah, he's an a-hole. Yeah, he should have talked to her about it and all that good stuff. But I did like when he comes back and tries to be there. and they And they go to therapy. Scum. Uh, But then that's when they realize that it's not going to work. I just think the way how they handled their, their divorce or their breakup... I thought that was mature. You know, when they hug after the the meeting, and yeah, they basically spoiling the movie. Ah, ah, ah. But I totally understand where you're coming from. What you're not saying, and right. everybody, I'm sorry. He's scum. He didn't say anything. He did it all behind her back. He never said anything contradictory to not being involved in the marriage or like loving her or anything like that. 
he did the typical guy thing. Or even if you're a guy with girls being shitty, because girls can be shitty. Totally did his own thing, didn't communicate, didn't think there was two people, thought that it's all for himself, kind of shit, and it's disgusting. My point was... Disgusting. My point was that he wasn't just one-dimensional. They did try to and, give him something. mind you, there are two children involved. Right, they do have two kids. And me, as a single mom of two. Right. You can relate to that. Yes. But and he's not just hurting the other person. He's hurting those two babies. But let's move on just to... Just to push that. Let's move on to Jay Hernandez, who okay. is uh, also a single parent. And everybody in, in the street, I guess, thinks he's... He's a single parent dad. Right. Which rarely, rarely you see. And all the women think he's hot, of course. Because he's responsible. Come on. Right. Uh, but to see him and Mila Cunez spark up a relationship and start to be into each other, it was nice. It was a nice little subplot that you had going on. The way that they did it was amazing. If you are a single parent, if you've been that person that's endured heartbreak or anything you need to see this regardless of what anybody says because there's a lot of shitty reviews on this that's true some people not everybody likes this movie i think that uh a lot of women will like this movie it it paints women in a more fun light a more relatable light are for them are you not fun sure you, you, you guys are great you guys are awesome uh but like I didn't love the movie. I think I, it, I loved it. I loved I, it. I think it has its moments. I think it has its jokes. It is very raunchy and it's weird. I know it's almost hypocritical for me to say, oh yeah, movies like The Hangover and all the American Pie. It's great for those yeah, movies that, to have raunchy you know, stuff. Like that penis envy and have their fire in time. But obviously, it is nice <laughs> to see women women be that funny as well and go to because those places. Because we're all equal. Not to be a feminist piece of shit right now. Well, obviously, you recommend Bad Moms. I do, especially, especially if you're a young mom, a young parent in general, because even with like the hangover and stuff, I can relate to, and I don't have a penis anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? I'll, I'll recommend the movie as well. It's, it's good. It's amazing. It's, it's a good time waster. Sure. I cried, seriously cried more than I did the notebook. I still never seen that. Oh, wow. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> let us know in the comments below if you, too, have seen Bad Moms. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Or do you think it's just, eh, okay? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Later. Later.